Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel DJ Kid. So in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at Arbitrum. So the project as we know was launched um, with a lot of hype be behind it and um, initially the tokens were launched as an airdrop. The airdrop was very lucrative worth many thousands of dollars to you know individuals that were eligible and currently we are trading at $1.11. So since the time of launch the price has come down um, a fair amount has kind of and kind of stabilized just above that dollar level so as it stands today we're currently ranked 38 in terms of overall crypto market cap circulating supply of tokens 1.2 billion max supply tokens 10 billion although i believe there's around 4 billion tokens or so that are sitting with the arbitrum foundation we'll take a look at that in just a moment and as it stands today as well Current market cap is 1.4 billion and fully diluted valuation is very significant at 11 billion. So you can see there that there's still quite a few tokens to be released to the ecosystem based on that. So yeah, guys, what I'll do is I'll take a look at the website. I'll give my views and opinion on Arbitrum. And um, obviously, guys, this is just purely my opinion. Nothing that I say is financial advice. So please do your own research if you do look to invest. Okay, so all time high. As I was saying, the, the token was launched as an airdrop. All-time high is currently at $8.67. We're down 87% off that value and kind of stabilized just above a dollar. So last 14 days, we're up 11%. Last seven days, up roughly 11% as well. And in the last hour and 24 hours, no real significant movements, um, I guess, um, in terms of the price action. Okay, so in terms of Arbitrum, what is it? So it's a layer two, it sits on top of the Ethereum layer one, and um, it's a scaling solution for Ethereum. So it uses optimistic roll-ups to achieve high throughput and low gas fees whilst still inheriting the um, Ethereum security as well. So overall, it's, um, you know, it's really designed to allow Ethereum to be a lot more scalable and also allow transactions to be settled at, um, at low fees and um, very quickly and efficiently. So if we take a look at the Arbitrum Foundation website, let me just load that up here, let's bring this up. Okay, so welcome to the future of Ethereum. Here it looks like they're actually doing another airdrop. So guys, if you've used Arbitrum, use some of the dApps, then definitely come over and log in and see if you're eligible to claim some ARB tokens. As we can see here, the um, Tokens will be, so claiming will be live until 90 days, 22 hours and 26 minutes. So still a lot of time there. Okay, so back to Arbitrum. It's kind of split into three areas. So you have the Arbitrum roll up, you've got Arbitrum 1 and you've got Arbitrum Nova. So the Arbitrum roll up is a typical optimistic roll up. So it uses fraud proofs to ensure the, I guess, the validity of transactions. Um, basically rolls up a lot of smaller transactions off chain and then batches them together and brings them to ethereum so puts them on chain onto the ethereum layer one and then you have the other section so you got arbitrum one so arbitrum one is the first mainnet version of arbitrum that was launched back in november 21 and is currently in public beta and um that version i guess supports a variety of dApps including you know well established dApps like uniswap sushi swap and balancer and then you have the arbitrum nova so arbitrum nova is a new version of arbitrum and that's designed to be more scalable and efficient so currently it's in development and it's expected to be launching in 2023 and obviously guys do your own research you can come over here to ecosystem and have a look at arbitrum one arbitrum nova and also the arbitrum bridge as well so if we go down the website here so we can see we must decentralize the Arbitrum DAO. So yeah, just a bit more about the um, about the Arbitrum network and the ecosystem, how it's working and so on. Obviously do your own research, take a look at the ecosystem. I mean, select some of these. So select Arbitrum One Portal and you can see, you know, some of the dApps here, um, one inch, um, you've got Aave, you've got, you know, loads of, um, of players really building on um on arbitrum and allowing their dApps to be usable as well alchemy pay i mean the list is endless guys have a look at this in your own time um i mean the list is pretty much endless 
and then also check out I guess the Arbitrum Nova portal as well and you can see there's other players on there as well so you can see API so API free is coming Arb swap you got um, day or DAI coinbase wallet I mean there's there's loads of of building and loads of um, activity going on at the moment on Arbitrum so let's just close that down let's close the Arbitrum website so let me just bring that back here okay so guys in in terms of the benefits of Arbitrum so I didn't really talk about the benefits too much but in terms of the benefits what it what Arbitrum allows is um, it allows high throughput so Arbitrum can process up to a thousand transactions per second which is much higher than the throughput of Ethereum's layer one so obviously therefore making it very scalable um, it offers low gas fees so the gas fees on Arbitrum are much lower than gas fees on Ethereum's layer one and this makes it more affordable to use DeFi and applications um, other dApps on Arbitrum as well and from a security perspective so Arbitrum uses all of kind of the Ethereum security it inherits all of the Ethereum security security into Arbitrum and um, I guess that from that perspective you can say that your your assets are pretty much safe on Arbitrum as well so it kind of covers those those areas as its main features and um, yeah is um, is fantastic in terms of its performance if we take a look at the I guess some of the comparisons of chains and I've caught I've, I've added in Arbitrum and Optimism as well on here so this is a comparison of chain so you can just see daily active addresses and so on um, of these chains and if I just load this up come across here you can see pretty much so Polygon is up there on the list Ethereum so you can see Polygon, Ethereum, Solana, Arbitrum is on there as well 144k um, daily active addresses followed by Avalanche and Optimism as well so obviously that is pretty bullish and from a daily transaction point of view come across here um, to something more current you can see Arbitrum is on the list there seven um, where is that so 678k um, daily transactions so obviously that is pretty bullish as well so you can see at the top there Solana is running the show so 25 million um, and then you've also got Ethereum so you've got Ethereum at 1 million followed by Arbitrum at 769k um, so that's pretty bullish um, from that point of view I guess what I'm trying to put into perspective here is that Arbitrum kind of sits in the middle it's not on the lower end it's not massively at the top but I mean it's doing really well in terms of its performances TVL wise you know if I come across here you've got 2 billion um, uh, total value locked on Arbitrum which is pretty bullish as well and yeah guys I mean do the analysis as well do your own analysis have a look at you know all of these analytics and um, yeah I mean as I was saying guys it looks pretty bullish from my perspective um, in terms of the TVLs, daily active um, addresses, um, daily transactions and so on. So yeah guys I just wanted to put that into perspective just to show you a comparison versus um, some of the others, um, some of the other chains there and also you know pulling in um, the likes of Optimism as well so you can see from a comparative point of view versus the likes of Optimism and also Polygon. Okay let's get rid of this now. Um, okay and in terms of then from a um, token supply so there is going to be obviously further unlocks as I was saying um, max supply of tokens is 10 billion only um, 1.2 billion circulating at the moment so if you go to tokens unlocked you can see here so here you can see unlocked is six points um, is well six point six point one billion so that's five point five billion ARB tokens and as I was saying guys there is um, there is a lot of um, ARB tokens which are sitting in the um, Arbit Arbitrum DAO treasury which is 4.2 billion so that's currently sitting in the Arbitrum DAO treasury so I believe those tokens you know may not hit the ecosystem I'm not really too sure about the ins and outs but it, it kind of looks like they are not going to be hitting the ecosystem because if you take a look at this unlocked that is inclusive of that 4.2 um, billion there so as we know the circulating supply is literally 1.2 um, 1.2 billion so that is the um, 
the supply of um, the individual wallets and um, also there's 113 million down here as well. So DAOs in Arbitrum's ecosystem. Okay, so the next unlock for um, Arbitrum is going to be in on March the 16th, 2024. And that is going to be 1.1 billion tokens. So that is pretty much the next cliff. So we can see that actually over here. So you can see the, the, the next cliff of tokens is going to be there. Um, so yeah, guys, that's going to be a real significant event. Um, quite a lot of the tokens being unlocked. Um, you can see it's pretty much, what, 11% of the supply. So yeah, huge unlock um, incoming in 2024. Yeah, guys, so if we go back to the um, to the price performance and I guess from my perspective and my verdict, um, you know, there's great layer twos out there. There are great layer twos out there and Arbitrum is definitely one of them that is performing really well at the moment. And as I was saying, statistics wise, when you compare it to some of the other layer twos as well, it seems to be doing really, really well from a TVL perspective, a transactions perspective. And um, I guess just how much the... Um, the project is being used and um, how much development is actually going on as well. So from my point of view, I think this is a pretty bullish project. I haven't actually invested in Arbitrum just at the moment, but um, you know, if this price does drop below a dollar, I'll definitely be going in. Um, you know, longer term, I do believe we'll probably see some good price action. But you know, from my perspective, I haven't actually invested right now, and that's just kind of full disclosure. But if it does drop below a dollar, I'll definitely be in and trying to invest. But also from a um, project point of view, as I was saying, a lot of development, a lot of um, a lot of an, um, a lot of activity on um, on Arbitrum. So it does look pretty bullish from from my point of view. So guys, yeah, hit me up on the comments below. Let me know what you think about Arb. Let me know what you think about the project, and I guess um, you know. Let me know if 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 you have any. Um, other layer twos that are you know maybe well um, a little bit more well placed than arbitrum yeah hit me up on the comments below hit that like hit that subscribe and i will catch you in the next video peace out